I'm investigating the deadly stabbing of Champion Ganda, a 17-year-old student killed in Newham, East London. Three men are seen to have fought with Champion and also wounded his friend Shaq. Two days in, and the police are still trying to identify the people involved. But I've discovered, just months before the attack, Champion's life was changing. He suddenly dropped his passion for football. He felt like, you know, he couldn't really relate to a lot of people in the football team and stuff like that. He began to be like, you know, he'll probably do some music stuff with Shaq. They start doing all their music stuff. I want to find out if Champion's move into London's rap scene is connected to his death. In the last few years, drill and rap music uploaded to social media have been linked to London street violence. Could Champion's music have marked him for murder? I'm going to meet Champion's 22-year-old brother, Berna, who's a rising star in the rap world. I'm gonna make my mum proud, so when I die, I didn't let my mum down. Seven fucking mouths to feed when there were hardly funds round. Grinding all day and all night until the sun down, but she was shit. I persuaded blood, him to open up for the first time. Watch how it's going. Yeah. Yeah. About Champion's death and music. Do you remember much about his music? I was there when he was writing, you know what I'm saying? Like, and sometimes, sometimes he'd come to me and ask, he'd say, what, 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 what does it sound like? It sound good. I'm like, yeah, hard. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But Champion kept his baby brother, Bernard, away from certain elements of the industry. The rap world is just more than just, just rap. Do you know what I'm saying? There's, just, there's a lot, so it's just like, maybe he didn't want me involved in no politics and, and whatnot. Like I said, back then, rap was very real. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it is still real now, but it's, it's very real and it's just very... Do you know what I'm saying? It's, mm. it's, gritty, it's the gritty, it's the black and white, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shaq got Bernard sent me the videos Champion uploaded a few Thank months God, before his death under the Thank alias God, crime. He's good. He's really good. Be on ends today. But do Champion's bars hold any clues to his death? Watching this, to me, he's a typical road guy saying all the typical stuff, how loyal he is to his boys. He said he would do or die for his mandem. Then was he just a storyteller or was he actually living this life? Was this the reason he died? Do Champion's lyrics really reflect the life he was living? I've tracked down his friend and local rap star, Junior, AKA Reels, who knew Champion well. Champion and Shaq had visited Junior just before they were brutally attacked in the street. Junior's never spoken publicly about the events of that day. You were the last person to speak to Champion yeah, yeah. on the day that he was killed. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking, we were just vibes in. He was talking about music. The questions I was asking him, like, have you got any dramas in the streets? And he was just like, yeah, I ain't got no dramas. I ain't got no dramas. I just want to make money. I just want to live good, really. Junior has to walk along the street where his friend was killed every day. The bloodstains were there for about a good six months. I was walking on that side of the road when I was going home. Or if I park my car, I just, I won't walk on this side now. Every time I'm just reminded, in it. Okay, should we walk back? Thank you for taking me down there. 